So hey guys, Tech and Ice back another video, and in this video we're going to be reviewing this pair of headphones. Now these are some of the most copiest um, headphones you can find. They are called the Koshin Each G2000s. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for a really cheap price, but you could, they're sold by loads of companies who say they're their own brand, but it actually just says Koshin Each G2000s. So this is a pair of blue gaming headphones it says. Um, they are, they're really large on your head, but they are designed for gaming with a dual stereo with a nice braided cable. So we're going to go through all the features and all the specifications of this um, pair of headphones in this video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so this is where you can buy them from, Amazon. It's a bestseller. So I'll leave a link in the description to this, but here it is, 15 quid which is really cheap for a pair of headphones and you might think well this is obviously going to be rubbish it's not actually that bad um, and I'll show the, um, the uh, they sell it in the US as well for $20 that's really cheap and this is Amazon's choice so obviously it is very popular by N level this current one and the previous one for the UK was by Easy SMX so plenty of different companies just you got to watch out for the one you actually get so this is what it looks like right here so yeah so let's get into the features and specifications. So let's have a look at the braided cable here. So like I said, it is braided. You actually do get a volume control system here with the nice blue logo on it. You can also choose to mute the microphone and unpause it. And you have a volume slider, which is, again, everything is made of plastic on these uh, headphones. So you won't be looking at any great build quality. But it is it has lasted me because it's lasted me a whole entire year with moderate usage. So it's actually I'd recommend this to anyone who wants it to give them to their children or they just want to use it for themselves and are not particularly great at looking after things. So yeah, they seem to have lasted. This is a bit soft now, but it works. Um, so let's talk about the cable. So it's kind of a weird cable. It does actually come with some labeling on one of the cables which is uh, in Chinese so I don't think you'll be able to read that unless you look it up um, and here we go here is the USB port now this is what you use to plug in the LEDs so I'll talk about the LEDs in a minute and it says gaming on it and it's a nice silver plated USB port I believe so that's uh, interesting to see on the actual headphones so yep yeah. and then we get your you have your Green um, headphone jack, I'm sorry if this is out of focus, green headphone jack which is used for um, your headphones and then you have your, uh, your, your pinkish headphone jack which is used for microphone and it does come with these little plastic casings, I lost the other one because um, I didn't, I just used, I used the green one all the time because the green one is the only one you need if you have a computer with one audio port because this is both a combo of the, a combination of the two but if you do have an older computer you can use both of them as one is headphone and one is microphone I'll give you a test of the um, microphone later but we're going to talk about that now so here is the microphone um, it's a nice retractable microphone it is, I, like I said I've had this for a year and it has seemed to have lasted, it's not as stiff as it was before but it is um, still there. The LEDs are on the top. You have these two bars of LEDs and you have a nice glossy plastic finish and it's connected to the uh, headphone just like that. So that's all right. I'll give you a mic test later, like I said. And let's go on to the design of the headphones now. So let's get into the design of the headphones. So they are quite wide. Um, I'll give you a measurement. Um, and they, because the measurement is about, um, let's just see, that's about eight and a half centimeters, which is, I'm afraid I can't tell on this really, because of course I've broken it. Stupid me. And, but they are, it's a glossy plastic with a Koshin each G2000 logo on either side of the headphones with this nice blue logo. And you have blue stripes around about three or four of them around each side which they actually light up um, you have a retractable um, like headphone adjuster so if you have a larger head or a much taller head you can actually use that that's lasted pretty well everything is plastic that does look like a brush metal is actually just a brushed plastic with a see-through glossy layer on it 
that's pretty cool and then uh, it doesn't extend much I'd say possibly an inch or two but it's still quite useful because I have it on the highest setting normally um, uh, you have a, a headband around here which is made of plastic again with this nice grippy texture to it which adds to, you know just a little bit to the uh, headphones overall so I'm glad that's there and let's talk about the padding now so the padding is a soft sponge material so it's not particularly great it is just you know it's kind of what you find on a cheap game pair of gaming headphones they're not particularly great and they sit over your ear not in your ear or on, or totally covering your ear so these are you can hear them they're not open back headphones obviously but they are um you can definitely hear everything that you are playing outside of the room um and here is some like you've got some braided fabric uh, on top of the actual uh, speaker which would probably just improve clarity so yeah that's the uh, the overall design of the headphones like I said it's using a, spe a cheap spongy material also for the headband it's still soft and it's still quite plumpy but it, as you can see this is probably where some of the actual material has started to um, wear away so there are some deep creases possibly some rips inside but that's what you get if you have a pair of gaming headphones for over a year for 15 quid. It's actually amazing. I was really surprised at the quality. So let's go on to the LEDs. Um, like I said, you will require to use a USB port. So if you want to use this for your phone or like your tablet or something for a pair of gaming headphones, I'm afraid you can't use the LEDs, but you won't. They're just an extra... Uh, it, they don't require the USB port to actually function, just the LEDs. So let's go on to those now. Okay, so I've just put the LEDs in through the USB into my into the USB port in my Asus Chromebook Flip, and as you can see, the LEDs have started to light up. They um, they don't have any sort of effect, so it's all just a preset, just solid color. But as you can see, there's some on the headphone uh, microphone. So that's pretty cool, nice to see. And then for both sides of the headphones, you have this pattern of like LEDs around the sides. So that is your only choice of LEDs, and they are only, are only blue, and they are only a solid colour. Still, that's pretty good. There's no other LEDs on the side, but um, you just get that. That's nice to see at such a cheap price, but I guess that is what you're paying for. You could probably get a pair of gaming headphones without LEDs with, for the same price. But I can assure you that the sound quality is actually surprisingly good. I haven't had many headphones which are expensive or premium. So I can't really give you um, an, uh, an accurate review of this, of this pair of headphones for their quality and sound. But um, I'm telling you that I found that there was lots of bass. But there is not. it's not an open back headphone like I said already. So you can hear what... Everyone can hear what you're listening to or playing outside of the earphones. So that is just another thing you may have to think about. So if you're with your family and you want to use these, everyone can hear what you're thinking. I mean, thinking what? Um, uh, what hear, hear what you're listening to. But let's go and do a mic test. So take a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. So this is me talking into the microphone with the headphones on. I'm talking at a normal volume, slightly louder than normal, with the microphone facing away, you know, as it should be. Um, let me know what you think. I haven't left this, I haven't edited this with background noise, so you may notice some. But I felt like it was very similar to the quality of my Galaxy S6's microphone when I was recording video. So I was extremely pleased with that. But let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so that was the mic test. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but I'm going to give you my final word on this pair of headphones. I think they are stunning. For the price, for what you're getting, you're getting a braided cable, a good pair of headphones, which are large, they fit most people's heads with good padding, well, ample padding. Brilliant sound quality, um, I did notice a sort of surround sound when I was playing games, so you can actually hear on one side people shooting and, and on the other, so that is what you could tell the difference is, as there is only, it's a stereo set of headphones, so you won't, um, you can't tell the difference between like 
what angle they are, you just know if they're left and right. But overall, the the quality of the mic um, is okay, I would have thought. Um, it's got good adjustment. The You have a microphone, that which is, you know, a big plus if you want to actually do gaming. You've got some really cool LEDs which adds some, um, you know, some good features to the actual headphones. And they last a long time because I've had them for a year. I, I bought these for £17, so not much of a decrease of £2 in about... I guess that was about two, three dollars. So it has gone down in price, but not by much. But it really is good for the price. I couldn't recommend anything else, to be honest, unless you could find something better. Because these are probably getting old, but they are highly reviewed on Amazon with a best bestseller in the UK and an Amazon's Choice for headphones on the US website. So they are well reviewed. And I'd 100% recommend to anyone who wanted to use them um, for gaming, even for listening to things. You can hear what other people, well, p other people can hear you, what you're listening to. But if you're willing to, you know, give that up, and if you're willing to give it to your children, I'm sure it will last a long time. Like I said, that Brady cable has lasted me ages, still really good. And it even comes with added features like a cable management um Velcro strap, which is obviously degraded over its time, but that is also a nice including included feature. So I would definitely recommend these headphones. I'll leave a link in the description again uh, to the UK and the US links to this uh, uh, this pair of headphones, and I would definitely buy them. So if you're on the if you're on the cheap, if you're looking for a pair of headphones on the cheap, these are brilliant to get. They're versatile, they are good and sturdy, and they have alright build quality, but most importantly is they're going to last you a long time. So, thank you for watching another Tech United video. Um, please leave a like on this video if you want to see more videos just like this, or better videos. I will be investing in a tripod extremely soon, so the videos will be improved significantly. And... Yeah, leave a like on this video if you want to see more. Subscribe to my channel because that really um, that really helps me produce videos more. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.